On the screen, we observe a system that uses a 1 6th HP piston compressor, designed for both cooling and freezing, and operates with refrigerant gas R134A. Now, let's detail the 10 most relevant technical characteristics of this system that every competent technician should know. 1. At minus 20 degrees Celsius, equivalent to minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, the system offers a cooling capacity of 693 BTU per hour, equivalent to 174 kilocalories per hour. 2. At minus 10 degrees Celsius, equivalent to 14 degrees Fahrenheit, the cooling capacity is 1148 BTU per hour, equivalent to 289 kilocalories per hour. 3. The nominal electrical consumption of the 1 6th HP compressor, known as RLA, is 1.4 amperes at 110 volts and 0.75 amperes at 220 volts. You can verify this value using the ammeter clamp. 4. For a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius, a capillary tube with a diameter of 0.039 inches and a length of 6.95 feet is recommended, equivalent to 2.12 meters. On the screen, we are showing other alternative measures for the capillary tube. 5. For a temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius, a capillary tube with a diameter of 0.044 inches and a length of 5.54 feet is suggested, equivalent to 1.69 meters. On the screen, we are showing other alternative measures for the capillary tube. 6. For low temperature applications, the working pressure on the low pressure gauge is 4.7 pounds per square inch at minus 20 degrees Celsius. In case you need to recharge the equipment, remember that you can do it in liquid or gas phase, as our 134A is internally composed of only one gas. 7. For medium temperature applications, the working pressure on the low pressure gauge is 14.7 pounds per square inch at minus 10 degrees Celsius. 8. The high pressure in any equipment working with our 134A should be around 170 pounds per square inch for outdoor ambient temperatures of around 35 degrees Celsius. 9. The compressor in these systems uses PoE-type oil, mainly PoE32 type. Remember to change the compressor oil when the equipment has been exposed to the external environment, for example due to leaks, that is, when it has been completely depressurized, or when the oil appears abnormal, such as black or dark brown. 10. The average amount of oil required for the compressor is 220 cubic centimeters in volume.